Hi everybody, Lucy here. I decided to do a follow-up video based on my last video, based on all the questions that um, I've been asked by fellow people. And I'd just like to address a few things. Um, a lot of people have been asking about Backer Buddy and if it is a safe place to deposit money. Is it a good thing? Is it fraudulent? And I just want to debunk all those myths. So first and foremost, Backer Buddy is really strict in the amount of people they allow to ask for funding on their platform. So first you'll apply to be what they call a champion. And in that, you have to describe what it is you need funding for. Secondly, they ask you for re relevant documents like your ID. Um, if you had any correspondence with any tertiary education, what the costs are going to be. And then thirdly, they ask for people like who your mom or guardian is, somebody that you're involved with, a friend, and then somebody completely unrelated to you. And then that goes through an entire vetting process to see if what you're asking for money for is a legit cause. After 48 hours of vetting, they see if this is a verified thing or it is not. If it is not, unfortunately, your campaign will be unsuccessful and they will come back to you with regrets. If it is successful, you will get somebody that is allocated to you that will help you through the entire process, giving you the links, how to get more funding, what to do about it, when you reach the target, how to reach the target. And they really, really helpful. In terms of donating, there's a donate button after the bio of why you're asking for funding. They ask you, would you like back a buddy to cover the 2.5% commission cost? Or if you would pay the 2.5 commission cost, which I find is very fair because back a buddy is a campaign that also needs to sustain itself. So all they're asking from, from all the donations is a meager 2.5% of any of the proceedings. So I hope that helps a lot of people because people have been very skeptical about giving money into a campaign and then what happens to it. So I hope that that has answered all the questions regarding Tobacco Buddy. I think it's brilliant. I have seen how many people have been helped out by Tobacco Buddy. Um, people with cancer, people who manage to finish degrees because of this. So I launched this campaign April 2021, so this year. And I have actually been very successful in the bigger and smaller amounts. They all have gathered up. I am a fraction of the way of where I need to be. So that is awesome. And I can owe all of that to my drive. You know my hustle like people like to refer to and these people will never ever leave you astray if they feel like your campaign is inactive or whatever the case may be the representative will ask you know what's going on are you not interested in this do you think you have enough would you like to take it down would you like to edit it and that is very nice of them so backup buddy has really helped me through this entire process and it's been phenomenal. It's a lot of work, but it's been phenomenal. Let's go on to the next topic that <laughs> everybody is asking me and I feel like it's about time I give people what they want to hear. Okay, not what they want to hear, the truth. So since the age of, let's say 15, 16, I wanted to be in front of the camera and I went for a bunch of auditions for SABC shows and when I finally got an audition or two I used to see the behind the scenes and be so fascinated with it and I was like I'd love to be behind it I'd love to be directing I would love to be behind the camera and seeing what the guy is seeing I'd love to be in the edit to put all of this together and make sure that it's like a cool show for people to watch so ever since my fascination with acting, because they called me a drama queen from a very young age, I went for a few auditions, but then when I started to see the bigger picture of what really goes into a show, it really caught my interest. Then life went on. I started to focus more on science and 
I don't regret it, by the way. Like, I learned a lot from physical science and life science. And that's also something that intrigued me. I loved little bacteria that are, like, so tiny and unseen. But, like, the things that they can do is awesome. I mean, look at the water bear, for example. The only living one-celled organism that can survive anything extreme heat extreme cold any natural disaster so i was very fascinated with that sort of thing so i made sure that i aced that thing as well i loved life science i loved physical science i was an average student at that point and only when i decided to work very hard at those subjects and study did i excel so that gave me a lifelong lesson when you're determined and you want to work on yourself and you want to better things it is all up to you it's in your court and it's that lesson that I took into my varsity experience I ended up studying a bachelor of fine art because as much as I love biology and I love physical science and I love reading and I love knowing things I also am a very artsy person. I've been described as eccentric by my family, which I don't mind. I love that. Um, I've also been explained as somebody that's very blunt and diplomatic at the same time. How that happens, I don't know. I could be very blunt. I could be very diplomatic. But at the end of the day, the way I approach things, I hope it's in a way that's not attacking anybody, but more to help people go through what they have to go through speak to me i feel like that sort of person so having said that um, i studied my bachelor of fine arts through after which is a film school for four years because i do higher certificate and then i finished my bachelor's and when my bachelor's was done i started doing a lot more drama behind the scenes so 16 year old me you can imagine was freaking out like oh my god it's finally happening but I didn't get to see the ugly parts of it. And I was like, okay, so this ugly part, adapt now, do it quickly. And I did. And I did that for years and years and years and years. Many, many, many shows, different people all across the world. And I loved it, guys. Like, I loved it. But I was also feeling drained by it. It was like I had outgrown all of the excitement and dealing with stress in a certain way. And... To this day, I don't really get excited about being behind the scenes anymore. It's more of a regular, boring, schleppy job. And then I thought to myself, if I had to change anything, what would that be? I mean, it's, it, my grandfather's voice is like, educate yourself. Learn more. Don't just be in one place all the time for the rest of your life. Life is too short. That is stuff my grandfather always used to say to me. And I was a kid before he passed away. So... That's when I decided there's way more things out there to study. And I was like, let me give law a little bit of a look because our community police in Discovery in Florida are very on point, on board. They, their reaction speed is really quick. Um, the community is also involved in reporting crimes. And in that way, we eradicate crimes on the street like somebody's phone could get stolen and recovered within five minutes if there's witnesses willing to come forward and give a full description so the crime level and the response to the crime has been lower and i can thank that to prashan suku from florida saps who's been an amazing person to speak to a good mentor and somebody who also knows who I am and what I'm capable of, who also agrees that this would be a very good career path for me. So a special thank you to Prashan Suku. Um, other than that, like I've always been interested in learning. It didn't matter what subject it was. It's something ingrained from my grandfather that I took with me for the rest of my life. And my grandfather, guys, like I can't, like he was the best man alive. Like he is somebody I still see in my dreams, somebody who I still feel out there has my back. What a wonderful man at the end of the day. But his thing was always that education is something that should never, ever be compromised. And you should never sell yourself short on education. The more you know, the more of a better person you can be, the more of a better approach you'll have to life. And 
thank you Walter because that stuck with me for the rest of my life and most of the decisions I've made have been on the foundations and ethics base that I grew up in so a lot of people are asking me why law because I will be great in it because I'm a hard worker because I don't sleep until I'm satisfied with what there is because I know my stopping points and my limits and because I will fight for the right cause whenever I feel the need to because I'm this diplomatic person because I will not take no for an answer I could go on and on and on but I know in the long run when I'm 60 and I'm here and I've done this and I'm experienced that I'm going to look back at this video of younger me and be so proud of this person who is pushing forward to be educated, pushing forward to be a better version of themselves, pushing forward because they've been under stressful circumstances and dealt with it in a better way. That is who I am. Every single day is a moment of growth. Every single day is a moment to know more things, better yourself, educate yourself. You know, it's, it's things like that I'm so passionate about and it's this career in particular that just resonates so well with me. And this is why I think I would be great in law. You know, I know when to speak. I know when to listen. I know what to take out of a conversation. I know how to win for the people who need a win in their life. And I know I can do it. So that is to answer the question of why law. Another thing is that People are like, why didn't you stick it out with, you know, the whole filming thing? Again, guys, 16 years old, I've been a part of the industry. You know, when things were still analog, where we couldn't just pick up our phone and do a YouTube video. I've seen a lot of things. I've been through a lot of situations. There's been weird stuff going on on set. We work at least 16 hours a day. I am so used to that. Like it, It's like it equipped me for the next best thing. And this is the next best thing. I know I was great at my job. I know that I, had, I did my due diligence over there. And I know when it's time to say goodbye. And as sad as it is, it is time for me to say goodbye. And it is time for me to move on with my God-given gifts and make life better for somebody else. And that said, that concludes my video. My campaign, like I said, is still up and running. If you have any more questions, all my socials are all underneath in the description. So is my backer buddy campaign. And I'll be here for you guys. I'm a people's person and I'm here for you. Whether you need to talk, whether you feel something's not right, I'm always there to give advice and be an ear. So that said, have a great day and please donate to my campaign. Please, that would be so nice. But anyway, there has been people that I do need to acknowledge that has donated. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, thank you. Wow. Oh my, I can't believe you guys have such big hearts given the circumstances. And I know it's just going to grow and grow and grow. And next year, 2022, is when my journey starts. And it's going to be crazy. And I'm going to rock it with the same determination I have today. I'm going to have it in 10 years. And when I'm 60, I'm going to have the same determination. Thank you, everybody, again for watching my video of explanations and stuff. And yeah, feel free to contact me whenever you want to. I'm going to be right here to answer your questions. <laughs> Have a great day. Goodbye.